Um, thank you all for joining us here today at St Mary's, which is part of uh, the electorate that I'm proud to represent. And as I look out um, in the audience, I see my own kids' school principal here and many of you that I've had the opportunity to work with already. Today I spent some time um, in a local public school that's doing great things with some of our most disadvantaged kids out there in Cranebrook um, and yesterday also in Cambridge Park High School. Um, I'd like to acknowledge um, the traditional owners of the land, and I know that it's already been said, but I also like to reaffirm my commitment to ending the scourge that is Indigenous disadvantage. And I think when we say these acknowledgements as MPs, and certainly we hear the Prime Minister mouth the words quite often, we also need to commit to doing things um, that actually do end that. And eight out of 10 of our Indigenous kids are educated in public schools. So if you're gonna get up there and you're gonna say that you commit to closing the gap, you bloody well should do something about it. Now, I'm not going to um, acknowledge or repeat all the acknowledgements that have been given here. Um, it is nice to have nine of my uh, uh, parliamentary colleagues joining him uh, on my patch. Um, and just thank all the teachers, Fed reps, um, and also all of you who are the uh, hardworking principals, teachers, and staff for being here today and our PNC members. In my area, um, every single one of my 43 public schools will be uh, facing a funding cut. In fact, every school in this country uh, will be losing out, including the hardest hit area, which is in the Northern Territory, arguably where the greatest need is. Teaching was going to originally be my uh, first career and I'm well, well and truly aware of the motivations um, from the teachers and principals who go into teaching and I know it's not just the fat juicy pay packets that you all get to take home and it's not the fact that you get to put your hand into your own pocket and spend money on resources for your classroom that motivates you to be there. I know that the motivation comes from a place well deep within here and nobody does it for the money. It's from a passion and from a commitment and that the least that we can do in government is acknowledge that and ensure that you've got your resources to do the job. So Rob, I heard your calls before. Um, there are some of us there that did start out as chalkies originally and certainly um, I make sure that that's known well across those parliament um, floors. It seems every time that we're facing a new challenge in our society, whether it's domestic violence or drug education, the obvious go-to is for everybody to say, teach it in schools. Um, driver training, drug education, bike safety, learning how to swim, respectful relationships, cyber safety and the list goes on. Whilst all are noble and worthy of being taught, it points to teachers and schools constantly being called on to do more and now you're being asked to do more with less. Less funding, less resourcing, less teaching staff and less aids, less support and less and a much, much greater increasing need. And then, of course, when you don't get the academic results on the league tables, the government's then go to is blame you all, who are the teachers. Um, I just don't accept that we can give $65 billion in corporate tax handouts on the backs of school kids across not just Greater Western Sydney but across this country. I think it's simply unfair, it's lazy policy and all of my federal and state Labor colleagues will be backing you in all the way. Now I'm going to introduce Chris Bowen who's the Shadow Treasurer who will um, talk to you more about what our plans are but thank you for being here. I look forward to getting every single one of your emails um, that you've all been asked to send on because I do pass them on. Uh, whether that's interjecting across the chamber and letting the Prime Minister know that I've got a stack of them or whether it's using what you tell me you're using your Gonski money for in my speeches and across our, our electorate to make sure that everybody is aware of what that money means. So thanks for having me.